All right, let's continue. I turned down the volume a little bit. Um, might even turn it down a little more. Uh, it seemed kind of loud when I was watching the previous video. Okay, where are we? So, I don't know. Okay. Everything is set up for the red science. We're doing six, and we, we determined that it's perfectly ratioed out with the hydrogen. Uh, and we're researching some things. Mostly, uh, I think, just upgrades. But... We talked about maybe just starting plastic. We have that researched. Oh, we have sulfuric acid also. Hmm. Which we will need eventually, but... We also could start going to other planets. I was considering doing that. But one thing I did after ending the recording last time was I automated windmills. So there's a, a, a similar making windmills over there, and you just grab like a stack or two, and go to another planet, set them down. It'd be cool to even have a blueprint of like a string of windmills. That's a good idea. And you could just travel around and plant them down places. Now, as far as the hmm, so the oil, the oil and how to handle it, that was a big issue in last game, and. You know what's the right way to do it and all that what's the priority of things is a big question like right now the purified oil I keep calling it purified but it's refined refined oil is going into a tank but at some point we'll want it to like okay this is, this is really annoying because I feel like I turn the music way down and it's still really freaking loud Okay. Yeah, that's better. Um, should be some kind of priority of what it, what's used when, you know. Because if one of them gets backed up, the whole thing does. So, like, if refined oil doesn't have a place to go, then it can't output the hydrogen either, and vice versa. And we're going to need the refined oil for plastic and for sulfuric acid. I think I'll set up a plastic because that's pretty easy to set up. Um, and I, w I would wish I could do it here, but I want to save that space for the coal. So let's see the map real quick. I'm probably just going to get rid of this power dump area because we can always move that somewhere else. So I'm going to delete that. I might even use this line. It maybe move it up a tad bit. Maybe here. And this is gonna be plastic, right? So we need graphite, which is right here. Hmm. Let's see the uh, formula. One and two. So that means I'd like to do the graphite on the outside line. So I guess what I'm gonna do is make this refined oil line. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, this becomes the refined oil. So we're going to continue with this, the snake method and have it just go down and come back and then go into the... Although... Since it's so close to peeling off here. And this is dead ending right now, actually. Hmm. I mean, basically, the idea is I would do this. I would typically do in this situation. Yeah, and then come down.
So I think I'm going to go ahead and connect this. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. So that'll fill up the belt. And then when the belt is full, it'll keep storing the extra in there. But I um, want to have plenty of room. That was one problem last time. Any of the chemical plant stuff, I want to have room for expansion. So, real question is, what do I do with the graphite to get it back? Um, I could even go up one or down one. So, what if I this instead? And then it coming back is the input for the machines. Machines are. Let me put down foundation. Oh, we're almost out of foundation. Okay, I'm gonna go get foundation and <clears throat> chemical plants because I've automated those too. Oh, they're right here. It's kind of weird that I put them here. Huh. I remember this. I think it was like the only place that I could get all four of these in one, like near each other. Oh, it stacks up to thirty. That's Strange number. Milestone chemical plant. Sweet. Built your first chemical plant, which will catapult base development into a new era. With deeper understanding of the surrounding world, chemical plants can change the structure of matter and synthesize more advanced industrial products. Very true. All right, so plastic. I'm going to start with these inserters because I'm not sure what size is needed. Build up three seconds to make one. So the oil, I think that's fine. This is all fine. Meaning the inputs are fast enough. I almost might end up moving this research lab. Okay, let me go get foundation. We do have sailing ability, which means we can go to other planets if we want. I'm gonna burn some of this oil. I'm wondering, or I'm a little bit torn as far as where to take where to take the factory. So if I just move the science like way down here or something, then I have this room. And, like these minerals can be brought down and stuff. Even go do some things on the left if I wanted to. I could move this over. But yeah, there's a bunch of, of land over here. So I guess the answer is kind of down and to the right, kind of southeast or straight east. Hmm. I think kind of down in the east makes sense. Or, I mean, no, maybe straight east, because I could just, I could elevate these belts and bring all four of these belts through. So 
leaving room for plastic. So now I want to kind of do the same thing, but with sulfuric acid. Oh, but that's a little tricky, right? Because that's fine oil, stone, and water. We don't have water yet. But it's easy to get. Go ahead and move this. All right, where to move it? Um, it's down, down a good ways, and then maybe angle it the other way. Get how much, how many inserters were needed. What type? Need the fast one on the outs outer. Do a wireless belt somewhere. Yeah. Some energy. Stone. This is interesting because I kind of forgot that stone is even something that's used on other than like putting it into smelters. So we don't even have stone anywhere. So that's fun. What is the plan? Let's see. We have stone here. I'm gonna go into map mode. And just see all the stone areas. So we have stone here. It's only going into glass. I mean silicon. And then we have another stone here. Which is going into glass. And stone brick. So what we could do is we could take the two in here and join them together. I mean, we could do the the runoff of all three of these. Really, that'd be kind of cool. So, for example, merge these together with a splitter, weave it all the way up here, and then merge it together with this with a splitter, and then bring it down here. <laughs> Which means our factory is becoming more and more felt madness. But 
I mean, what's the alternative? I guess the alternative is just getting another stone vein. Not a bad idea, actually. We could just do this and then bring it up. The reason I don't like that is because eventually those are going to run out, and I like having a flow. So this belt of stone is the original belt. Coming all the way from here. Yeah, from here. So, but it's also, okay, but it's merging. I almost would prefer this thing, this vein, to combine with this line. It's not used for anything before this, is it? No. Before it goes anywhere else. Because really there's three smelting blocks right now. Three, 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 three. This could come... Yeah, the problem is it's like three to one. You don't want the three put of the belt to hold it back. I could also leave that and then just have the other splitter coming over here. Actually, not bad. And then all this can go down from here somewhere. I kind of like that, so let me see. For instance, if we kept the copper up high like this, yeah, okay, so there's the coal line. This is going to join with other stuff. Could this be cut shorter? No. The goal being, I mean, obviously you can just raise everything up, but I like to keep everything on the ground as much as I can, because it looks cool. I could take the oil around this way. If I cut that off there and brought the oil around around this way. Like hug this copper as close as possible. <laughs> oh yeah. It's hugging it very close. even something like this. So, okay, perfect. Look at that, see? The oil just now ran through the belt. So now we connect it with this belt. Boom. Uh oh. Nope, nope, hold on. There we go. This little trick where. I guess you could call it a trick. We're like. Now we have an empty belt. Because we let the oil flow through. And, um. Make sure it doesn't lead anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't lead anywhere, so we could just put coal on it. I mean, stone on it. But, we don't really want to put stone all the way on it. We want to cut it off somewhere here for now. Okay, where's the stone? It's getting a little bit spaghetti-y for me. 
spaghettified. So really, I'd like to put it up here. Um, like if 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 it wasn't for the logistics of splitters, like if it was just you know, if you could do any any number to any number of splitters, it would be very easy to make decisions like this. But because that because adding another line up here would be like kind of a logistical nightmare. So you'd have to go to like three to two, or maybe three to three is what I'd really want to do. And I don't want to think about what three to two would look like. Like if one of those lines runs out, well, we can always adjust. So basically what I'm saying is for now, I'm going to do a three to one, one, two, three, somewhere, wherever I have room have to be anywhere near here. It can be like down here. Um, and go from there. Maybe just like right here. Oh, but this is so funny now because why not bring this down, right? <sighs> nah, it's fine. Alright, alright. Let's get to it. Belt number one. Number two. Yeah, look at this spaghettification. Let's move the glass a little bit. Belt number three. Okay, so after all that craziness, we got a line of stone that we feel good about. Not necessarily how it looks, but with the flow of it. Maybe even something we could add more veins to. Uh, now where's it going to go? It's going to go down... Pass the solar panel, and I guess wrap around the science, so it'll be over here where the steel is, and stone brick and circuits and everything else. Eventually we'll have to belt other stuff over here, like iron, copper. Where's the copper? Oh, copper has an issue, actually, way over there. Let me fix that real quick. Uh, what did I do? Oh, this whole thing is going the wrong way. Oh, this is, we moved this when we set up the stone. I'll just keep it on the second level, connect it. Is this dead ending here? It looks like it. So crazy. So much more unorganized than my Factorio bases. Again, we started. 
second, I got a text message I gotta answer. I started as the main bus and ended up failing on it. Oh, I did get a technology research. Okay. Wow, we're already up. We're already finished with technology queue. I almost don't want to queue anything because it's just overwhelming. I might queue that. So I'm at least familiar with it. Oh, okay, no, we gotta do this next. It's actually not, not very thick, actually. What's going on? Did I miss a connection? Let me check. I bet you something's not hooked up. Yeah, see? I screwed it up. How? How did I screw this up so bad? It's just not all the way in. Okay, that now it is. Hmm. Weird. So the copper, oh, it just went up, and it ends up there. We could either snake it down or just split it off somewhere here. But I'm going to just keep going with the coal for now, I mean the stone for now. It's going to come down here next to the graphite. Do I hop over? Or do I go around? I think I go around. Mm. No, I'm gonna hop over. I'm gonna follow the graphite. I'm getting like my phone is like blowing up with stuff I have to actually deal with. Purchase was successful. Let's see additional information. Ticketmaster, log in to access. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. Because the images aren't showing. Huh. Okay, I might have to log out soon and deal with that, but.
Let's work on the stone a little more. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna stop the belt and figure out where the actual where the actual work is gonna be for for the what do you call it? Sulfuric acid. Because if I do it here. I'm gonna need refined stone and water. It's uh oh wow. Six four six eight four to four. <clears throat> six eight four to four. Yeah, so we can do the um the water and the output two away and the other two nearby. So it means water could go here. It could go it could come from this way. Because we could get it from over there. And then the inputs stone and refined oil refined oil can can also come from this way it's coming back from here because that's the end of it and then the stone will be coming this way so not I'm not sure if we're bringing the the outputs back or going forward I think they're going forward through it for now, so that going that way too. All right, so this is stone. Oops, gotta go the other way. Always have to build it in the direction that you want it to run. It's easy to forget. We gotta do some mazy spaghetti stuff. Wait, is it the right one? Yeah. Nope. No, it's not. That's the output for plastic. Again, a water. So we're right next to water. Can I just build it here. Need a water pump. I think water is pretty simple, and you just need like one thing. I think at least, and. It doesn't even have to, like, once you build it, you can just still pave over the water and it'll still work. So that's all good news. Okay, so we have those making. Hmm. We could add them, add them here if we need to. So the next thing we could do is 
ahead and research this. Can I add a six lap? And a seven. Alright, let's check the inserter. Or can we do the math? Assuming assuming three per second, because it doesn't really say that. This is seven, right? Seven. Seven divided by three. It's like two and a third. Two and a third items per second? Did I do that right? No. Give me one every three seconds. Yeah, seven over three per second. Wait, that seems... Not even close to what we need then. How is it? How is it even doing five? I don't think that's right. Three. Se if it does one and a half per second, that means it does four and a half every three seconds. So we need it to do seven every three seconds. What? Okay, that does nine every three seconds, so that's enough. This is not enough. So we need another one. <laughs> okay, I think it's eventually going to flow up to the top. Blue is already, but there we go. There's the red. I don't think we can actually support that long term, like the belts are going to be empty before that's maintained for long, but at least that way when we do pause and restart, it'll empty the belts or go faster, make up for the, the time that we spent waiting. Now there's a lot of things we could do, but what do we want to do next? I want to get everything kind of down here and almost like kind of reset. Maybe over here. Or maybe we should just finish setting up what we think the yellow science should look like. Because we're kind of getting there with the, with the uh, plastic and stuff. so hard to like plan this out so the coppers up here and the processors and the high purity silicon we could belt all that down but what if we built belted things kind of up here and then we work in this area over here we have steel Belt, glass. Where's the iron plate? Couldn't get titanium. Oh yeah, this stuff is here. The prisms are being made here. Which is okay, because I can layer it throughout here. That's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. Still have no idea where my iron plate is. You'd think that would be a commonly used one, but maybe it's not at this point. Turned it into steel.
Oof, okay. Man. Oh, okay, I have an idea. We need to set up second belts and Mark three sorters and Mark two belts, which means we need to start making, we need to start automating this guy. So I started building electric motors a while ago, thinking they'd be important, but I hadn't needed them yet. But now I do, so it's like, I maybe need to like belt it. Of course, just like everything else, it's a belting problem. But actually, no. I mean, this is already set up to be good because it has them right next to the magnetic coils. And that's how you get the electromagnetic turbines. So I almost might go back this way with them. Yeah, yeah. Then it kind of ties in with the mall area. So first off, I have this. So the magnetic coils, no, these are electric motors. They go down and then they turn her back around. The question is, do they need to turn back around? Maybe not. foundation real quick the data shows this is a planet without natural titanium veins perhaps you can get some by collecting gravel if you need a massive titanium collection you need to find a planet rich with titanium veins as soon as possible I think we need a massive amount seems almost too easy to just do this, but can we not just add them to this? just made for, right now at least, they're just made for the mall. They're not really made for, like, any kind of science or anything like that. Doesn't mean we, I mean, we still want to make them fast, but. So now I'll snake the coils around. have to go out some other way. fast these things are getting made. One every two seconds. Should be fine with these sorters. Yeah. Alright, so let's look at what things we can make with them. We can make Mark three sorters, which is... Okay, good. This is what I thought it was. It's just upgrading the previous one. So I think it's literally we can do like... Do like this kind of thing. Yeah. 
Let's see, what's the speed here? One second to make two. Two in, two out. Need to be fast. Disorders here. Is this even fast enough? I don't think it is. This thing makes two every one second, too, so this isn't fast enough for that. Well, that's a perfect opportunity to upgrade them. Uh. Okay. Up and over. Down. Oh, it's 45 seconds. That's why it's okay, right? Yeah, I think that makes it okay. Or it's three-fourths, you know what I mean. It's three-fourths speed. So, I guess the real question is, should I just, should I just upgrade everything? No, I mean, it's easier that way. But I kind of like keeping all three types. I don't really know why. Just do. It like makes you be more intentional about what you're looking for and what you're wanting. Whoa, these things are not outputting. Because the coils... By the way, does it even make sense to have three and three? This makes... every two seconds it makes one. Yeah. No. Ooh. Every two seconds it makes one, but it uses two of these. So maybe we'll do... We'll remove this one. And then we'll upgrade this by one. belts going. What is this? Which way is this going? Oh, is this? Oh, this is the end of the iron, isn't it? So that's four, and then four to two. But the real problem is the shortage of magnetic coils, so let's go fix that problem. I'm gonna drop these on the belt. Oops, wait, am I dropping? Yeah, there we go. Well, we knew this day would come. This mighty one assembler thing. Not enough. But the inputs are fine, so let's just double it. What is this output doing? So this is interesting. I mean, like, I probably could have just... Is this speed even helping? faster output or if I downgraded I think I like the game the little game of trying to do the minimum technology required to make it efficient yeah I think it actually works equally as well just with those inserters and because it only uses one iron, it can use the baseline sorter, even though it's one one extra distance. 
Okay, so we doubled the magnetic coil. I wonder how what, how that's going to affect the inputs of it, but... I think it makes sense for now. stack of these in our, our inventory. Why can I not put this into here? Okay. Did that work? Yeah. <clears throat> what else? Good. I like it. What else can we uh, stock up on? More boxes, power poles. Assemblers. Else, definitely. We also, yeah, we need to upgrade the belts. All right, so how do we do that? Belts are, okay, which is what I thought. It's just the same thing, but with one of those magnetic things. So I'm gonna do what we did here with the sorters and just belt it over. I do one, but since these are belts, I'm gonna do six, or maybe just ten. I'll do six. Uh, okay, get an output here. This is three to th in one second. It's making three. Obviously, it's not best. I don't like the way that looks. Like if I did a Mark II sorter. Okay, that's three in a second. And again, it's really 2.25, so that's fine. This is unload 2.25. This is actually a long... Why is that a long one? That's... see, that's... crazy. Okay. Okay, so I have the Mark III sorters now. These just need the magnetic things. one per thing, right? Yeah. That's not so bad. I mean, I guess they, they, they do take a while to create. What's this? Really? Still low on magnetic coils. I guess they're used for this and for that, so it's like they really get sucked up. Alright. We had two making, maybe we need four. Plenty of circuit boards. See, this is why it leaves space. Are the inputs okay? Not really. Actually, you're not okay on the inputs. Oh damn, okay. This iron is looking a little iffy. We 
really need to have six of these. I don't think I can open them. Oh wow, we're almost at an hour, so we could stop soon. But I think this this iron is kind of crazy. Like, uh, you know, maybe the next step is to get more iron down here, just in general. Um, there's some iron right here. Might be the easiest way to do that. But I also want to, like, clean up the way this looks and stuff, like... Um... Hmm. It's tricky. And think about where we actually want the belts going, right? So this, we want to be a full belt. This, we want to be a full belt as well. And this, we want to be a full belt, really. I mean... This is, um, so this is one and a half, so I think we need nine, technically. Let me just do a little bit of tweaking to see if we can get nine in there, so we can correctly set it up. Not quite enough space. So this is nine, so technically this could be a full belt, full belt, and isn't there another full belt? Can there be three? This one, the oh, empty one, where's this coming from? Yeah, yeah, see that's not good. I wonder, I bet you this is a, um, bottleneck right now. If we want three full belts, that's six times three, that's 18 per second. So that will not fit on one belt. Here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get some Mark II belts. I'm going to come back, fix this issue, which may involve getting more, getting another iron mine, and then I'm going to be done. So currently we have uh, four veins. This one's actually not touching one. So that's a slight improvement already. We need to know, like, when something is at belt capacity and when it's not. Like, for the sake of learning, I'm going to do this temporarily. I'm going to upgrade this belt. So that should create two full, well, see it doesn't. I think this is being throttled, right? That two full belts? I bet it won't be able to maintain this, see look. You know, it's there's some gaps here. Let's see what it looks like after. It's still not quite a 
a full 12 per second. And that's all four working. So all 12, I don't think, create 12 a second. I mean, sorry, all four of these working. By the way, I'm going to uh, dump some stuff in here. So what does that, where does that leave us? Um, it means that the amount we need to get from here is going to be more than six per second. Miners. Can I do any like three? I like doing three just because it can be combined easily. Oh, do we have foundation? Yeah, we do. Also, I might just delete some of these windmills if they're in my way. I'd like to have area to play with this. <clears throat> Six veins. This one's not unloading. Well, see, now the demand has gone down. Is it, okay, so maybe it's 33 per vein. Some of this has to do with the technology that you research. I think it was starts out as 30 per vein. 30 per, 30 per minute per vein. But it's gone up 10%. But if it was 30 per minute per vein, you need 9 to get a full belt. 9 would be a full yellow belt. Nine times three, 270. No, no, three, it'd be 18, right? This seems like a lot, no. Why is it so hard? 360. 12. 12 veins. Let's see how many veins this is. 7. And they don't have to be unique veins, too. That's the other thing. 4. That's 11. Plus five. Okay, well, whatever. That's. I'm gonna move this one to try to get that one vein there in the. What you can do is you just mouse over this and count four. Plus seven is eleven. Plus seven is eighteen. But it's definitely more than twelve. Now, how do we bring these together? So maybe you could do it like this. You have a sorter. Or you have a splitter. Put it here. You bring this guy in, and then you... with this guy. And you count the veins that we're dealing with. So... This is 4 plus 7, which is 11. So 11 veins going in. 330. Which is interesting, because that's that's actually 333 times 11, which is 363, which is actually barely greater than a... barely greater than a Mark 1 belt. 
But regardless, we're gonna want Mark II belts from here. Which I'm short on. Don't have a lot of them. See, I kind of want to like do it down here. Let me move some of these windmills. Okay, I'm gonna go get more belts and actually more foundation. Come back, wrap it up, have all three, all three iron belts very well populated, and then end the stream. Belts, belts, belts. Uh oh, oh boy. Wow, they are like completely halted. Did I cut the line on something? I guess I did on the iron, didn't I? I don't remember doing that. Maybe I can just take some. Yeah, can make a good bit. How did I turn off iron? Surprising. Oh. Wait, I didn't turn off iron. No, I did. It's only got steel. That's okay. It's just going to be turned off for a second. Now, I'm just going to basically start over completely, like... Okay, here are the lines you need. One, two, and then three. We have 17 veins coming in here. 18. Mm, 18 veins coming in here. I don't really want to keep track in that way. But if I did, that's the way I would do it. Okay, you know what? I have a pen and paper next to me. And a calculator. Eighteen times thirty-three. I really don't want to use thirty-three, right? Because that's per minute, and I'd rather deal with seconds. So I can just divide by sixty. So nine point nine per second coming from that further supply of iron. Nine point nine. And I'm going to count these. 4, 6, 10, 13, 19. Now 19 times 33 divided by 60 is 10.45 per second. 10.45 plus 9.9 .9 is 20.35. Bad news is 20.35 is greater than 12, because it won't fit on a Mark II belt. Good news is both of these areas are less than 12, so I can put all four of these miners into a Mark II belt, and then do a 2-2, two to 2-2 two, two to two, uh, splitter. So first, I'm going to put all of these in some splitters down here. We're going to need space for this.
The other question is, is it okay to use Mark 1s to get here? To get into the splitters? I think so. But I will count that. One thing you can do in the calculator is 6 per second times 60 divided by 33. And that's 10.9. Which means if you have 11 veins, it's not going to fit on one belt. You see this is 6 and 12. 6 and 6 makes 12. So the output of here already needs to be a level 2 belt. Those two are, are smaller, right? Four and three, so that's fine. We can do a one from here. But then these two need to come together. We'll do a mark one from here to here. We'll do mark two. From here to here. And mark two out of here. Then we combine these two. Mark two. Whoops. But the output needs to be two Mark IIs also. Or wait, could it be a 1 and a 2? It was 20 something. It was uh, 10, 4, 5. I'm looking at notes, that's how I know. 9.9. 20.32, so if it was a 1 and a 2, it's still not enough, because that's only 18. So it has to be a 2 and a 2, but wait, it doesn't, because all we're trying to do is make 18. So basically, you can do a Mark 2 out of here that feeds the first two belts. Mark two in, and then two mark ones out. And then the other one can just be a mark one to feed the, the magnets. Okay, so that seemed like a, a ton of work to, um, uh-oh. This one isn't connected yet, or it's not turned on yet, okay. I want to watch this in action. Is it just me or does it always seem like nighttime? I guess because I'm winter. Winter area? So see how this is like moving fast but it's completely full? That's a good thing. Same here, they're splitting perfectly. 12 to 6. It is the speeds, right? 12 to 6, yeah. And then the magnets aren't being used right now, but they, they should be eventually. And we have nine of them, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if they ever were used in full, they would require six, six per 
second iron, which they have. Sweet. I don't even remember what started us down this path. I guess the magnets were like running low on this line. Here come the irons. The iron is returned, has returned. I'm gonna actually just hold two stacks of one, maybe one stack of two. Let me dump my iron somewhere. I really gotta end it. Why is the stone not full? A full belt? Oh yeah, because of gears. But it's going through. It's making... Motors. Yeah, they take up a lot of stuff. Take up a lot of iron. Because they take up gears and iron. It's not even making it to the fourth one. Wow. See, how do we calculate this? It's 22 and a half. <clears throat> Two per... Oh, this is where you need the calculator again. Two times 22.5 equals 45 divided by 60. Oops. Ugh. Divided by 60 is 0.75 times 4, 3. So it requires 3 iron per second to populate all four of them. It seems like we would have 3 per second, but maybe not, because also many of it takes is taken by the gears. I think it's finally getting to that last one. Yeah. The belt might on, might even start backing up in a second. Anyway. That was a fun little adventure. Yeah, so that's going to be a while before it fully fills up, especially if it's still, it's still going into this. Oh no, it's done with the sorters. Like, I almost wonder if the next thing we should do is make even more iron. Another smelting block. Oh wait, did I? No, I did it right. This has the capacity to be 24 per second. It's not quite. But it could be. I 
it's being used for circuits too. Pretty, not really much at all though right now. I just need a couple more to get 300. So we check on the plastic and stuff. I haven't really been researching. It's because I don't really want to. Uh oh. I'm almost out of energy. check on. I don't think I need plastic in my inventory. Cool. Alright. Real quick, let me just check on iron. So we we brought this iron over. There's another one here. We could also bring over. And there's more there. There's a bunch, actually. There's probably some like in the middle of our base, too. That we may not have. There's some copper. Stone. Stone. Coal. Looking for the text. Some way over there. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. That's awesome. Alright. <sighs> See you next time.